It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Seattle Seahawks and the New York Jets. And it comes your way next. Well, Brock, the fans were out and shouting J-E-T-S Jets well before the gates opened here. And now they fill the stands of MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. So glad you all could join us for this game. Kate Scott and Brock, you are on the call for it. And we're expecting quite a bit of offensive gamesmanship, partner. Some veteran savvy out there. Both of our starting quarterbacks have spent quite a long time in this league. And they've got plenty of experience to show for it. Yeah, I like the way you say that right there. Gamesmanship and veteran savvy. Father Time, he chases down these skilled guys. It's a, it's a game that's getting younger and younger, right? Because yeah. well, it's hard to be as fast as you've been when you were a rookie. As a quarterback, you've got to use your years of experience. Both these guys have to play this game from the neck up and still play it at a high level. Honors Carlson, ready to get us started. And away we go from East Rutherford. Ravisca Chanel to return it. He stopped on the return of the 27th. So out come the Seahawks for their first offensive possession. They'll be led out by the 12th year pro from West Virginia, Geno Smith. When Geno Smith won Comeback Player of the Year, it was really hard to find another comp. You know, the NFL, we love to always compare and contrast guys from different eras or project them moving forward. But there just were not many stories like Geno Smith who just waited and persevered a decade, a decade in the NFL before he flourished. But what came to life finally was just the arm strength, the accuracy, the playmaking ability that was there at West Virginia, and it just took some time and maybe a little love from Pete Carroll at that time to really elevate his confidence and elevate his game. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. They'll get 18 yards there. And the Seahawks will have a first down. That's one of those plays, Kate, where every position on the offense gets a gold star. They all did their job. Enough protection to allow the quarterback time to find his receiver. He went all the way from the right side of the field to the left side of the field to do some damage. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. I love these inside runs. Don't get away from them. You never know. You think it's going to be a short little game, and then boom, get the right blocking, a possessed running back, and you get some serious yards on the table. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. First down, and they go right back to it. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. An offensive line and that O-line coach got to look at those pictures and figure something out. Because you cannot let a defensive tackle defeat your block at the point of attack, or you're going to get a negative run time after time. Offense to the line for second down. Falls to the ground, out left, incomplete. Successful, and they have third down here. From the gun, Smith. Pass taken in by Lockett. And he'll get it down to the 24 yard line. Looks like they will indeed try it. Fourth and two. the gun. Here's Smith. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Chuck Clark has it. Well, what an exciting start to this game, Brock. Apologies to the former QB and you. It's not an opening drive touchdown, but an interception instead. Yeah, exciting for one side. That would be the defense. Demoralizing for the other side is an offense. First off, well, listen, it goes to the defense. And that really sets the stage for what I love and what you love, Kate, in this game of adjustments, in the game of back and forth. Who's going to respond next? So now it's the Jets getting that on offense for their opening drive. They're led out by the four-time MVP who's been in this league since 2005, Aaron Rodgers. 
Well, these Jets fans, they've been waiting for this moment. They only got four snaps of Aaron Rodgers a season ago before, unfortunately, that Achilles snapped. He's put himself in tremendous shape. He worked to almost get back last season, and that arm and that release, Kate, whew, it is still one of the most dynamic in the game. Here's Brees Hall on the ground for the first time. Jukes one defender, and they finally bring him down, but that is a big game and a new set of downs. Give him 24 on that play, and it'll give the Jets a first down. Those unsung heroes, those big guys up front on the O-line, well, let's give them a little love right here, Kate. They don't always get the attention they deserve on a broadcast, but let me tell you, they played a huge role in that big old run. Salt wanted this. Really craved man-to-man -man coverage. The best of them, give me man-to-man -man coverage, and I'm going to beat you. I was around Dallas Clark and Indy, one of the best. You play man-to-man, -man, he's going to find a way to out-leverage you, separate from you, and make a play just as that tight end did. And his pass is going to fall incomplete. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Shotgun snap, a give to Hall. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. Pickup of 12 on that play. And it's good enough for a New York first down. We know how hard explosive plays can be in the NFL. And so often they come via the air. What a great help for the offense to find an explosive play on the ground. Well done. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the 9. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. Now here's a spot where the timing's got to be absolutely perfect, Kate, between the quarterback and the receiver. That throw is made before that receiver's ever thinking of coming out of his cut. Too early, it's incomplete, too late, and it's headed the other way. First down from the red zone. Cut near the goal line. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. I feel so bad. I really do. And I don't mean this sarcastically, Kate. I feel bad for these guys in coverage. I don't know how you defend some of these players today. Because they get that drag route. They get one step inside of you. Well, there's very little you can do other than make the tackle. Home. They soften that defense up, that lengthy opening series. And then the front just couldn't stand up to the run as they reach the end zone. Yeah, the numbers tell you, kind of just like baseball, you love home runs, you love explosive plays. But when you can play small ball and you can keep that defense gasping on the field, you can often run it right down their throats in the red zone. That one right down the middle. And the Jets will jump out to a 7-0 lead. All set now for the kickoff. Here comes Williams on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Seahawks taking the field for their second possession. And they got off on the wrong foot here with that opening drive interception that led to points the other way. Yeah, what this defense has shown is they are going to capitalize on your mistakes and not just a little, but by a lot. So from here on out, you better play some mistake-free football because this defense is hunting for more. The drive will start out with a first and ten. They go play action. Here's Smith. Got a very quick throw, but they couldn't connect. Looking for Tyler Lockett on that play. So second down coming up. Back 
into the air. It's Smith. Looking like a dreaded three and out offensively. But listen, if you can't keep your quarterback clean and upright, you're going to need some magic, big time magic, to convert on this third and long. Gotta figure out this third down here. Shotgun snap to Smith. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll get it up to the 44. Well, third and 15, you don't see many of those picked up, partner, but they found a way. across midfield and down into enemy territory. No pause now for an injured player. And it looks like he's worse for wear after handling that last carry. before the defense halts it. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And it sets up Seattle with first down. Yeah, you want to get about five yards to carry? You want to put together runs like that. And I'll tell you what else a run like that does, Kate. That sets up the play action. But when you really just gouge and gash the defense like that, the next time you run that action, we're going to be thinking running the ball. to go right over their head. We came Metcalf, the intended receiver. And it's going to be second down. somebody with that type of mass rolling at full speed who's really going to want to stand in the way wants to stop him anyhow the answer nobody now it's jason myers on for the extra point right down the middle it's good and the Seahawks tie this game 
here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. Xavier Gibson now to return. He's got a lane up past the 30. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The second drive coming up now for the Jets offense. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you got to imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't, right? But this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah. here. They got to yeah. give their defense a chance to catch a breath and turn some of the momentum in the building. To the air here on first down, Rogers. Conklin brings it in. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Off the play fake, here's Rogers. Bails out of the pocket quick. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the defense is energized following that stick for a loss. Hey, God bless the Ted Washingtons, Casey Hamptons, Vince Wilforks, all of them were unstuffers back in the day. But the D-tackles of today, you not only have to step the run, you have to eat up the pass, too. And that D-tackle just got it done. Third down, give to Hall. Duke the defender. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Following the run, we see he's still out there dealing with some sort of injury. They'll head out to check on him. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. From the gun, here's a body Conda. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. here from the gun. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Garrett Wilson, the intended receiver. So that brings them to third down. You know, so often we hear of a pass and catch downfield taking timing and anticipation. Well, the screen is actually something that takes a lot of practice reps. There are so many moving parts from the lineman to the running back to the timing with the quarterback. That's well done. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And that one comes down at the two before bouncing into the end zone for a touchback. Now Seattle all set to go here on offense. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. They're out and set. First and ten. Smith setting the throw. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete.
to make the pick, Brock, but he was on the move real quick. No, in short field, there's a great chance that he could take that one back for a touchdown. That's exactly right. In this area of the field, an offense really only gets a second or two to react to that pick and get over and cut off his lanes. And if you don't, well, it's six the other way. Carlson now to add one more. The point after splits the upright. And the Jets take the lead here, 14-7 in the first. after that pick six as it's sent away. Here comes Williams on the return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Seattle offense eager to get back on the field. And they didn't have much time to recover from that pick six. Need short memories here as they head back out. Looked like it didn't get through the defense clean enough. Somebody tips it away and saves a potential completion. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. And off to Walker from the gun. And it's a three-yard gain through the traffic. Off to a halt by C.J. Mosley. Gets up to 59 yards. And it'll be Jets football. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Shotgun handoff to a body combat. And he found some running room for a nice game. Good run, gets him seven. That brings up second and three. From the shotgun, Rogers. Wilson's got it. He's forward, gets a couple yards. Devin Witherspoon there on the stop. Textbook, pitch route. Just hit him in the short field and deliver it once that defense turns their attention elsewhere. Okay, this is a low ceiling play, but a reliable source of yardage. And time runs out before they get the snap off. That's the end of one. It's a 14-7 game. More for MetLife coming right up.
Time for the second quarter of play. It's Jets football. They'll begin the quarter with third and two. Now a give. It's Allen headed left. And here we go. Near the 38-yard line before going down. He only finds a window for two, but that's still enough for a first down. I don't know, Kay. I didn't think he had it. But that back did. He knew exactly where he had to get for the first down. Pops up right away and signals first down. New set of downs for him at the 38. Ooh, a little movement along the line now. That's going to cost the defense five yards. So he jumped too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. So they'll only need five now after that neutral zone infraction penalty. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. And the defender redirects that deep shot. Nicely done, incomplete. Defense doubled him, knowing that was where the pass was likely headed. A bit surprising, quarterback still threw in that direction with how well that defense had that play covered. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Armani Kanda now, up the middle. And he made a bit from infield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. He gets six on that play, and it'll give the Jets a first down. Well, looky here. You don't even have to worry now about a third down call as that room moves the sticks. Now that call you had ready, though, you can recycle it. Save it for later for that next third down coming. Allen trying this straight ahead. And this goes across midfield and into Seahawks territory. First down play, Nets and five. It's going to be second and five. Kate, you really do love those five-yard gains on first down. You know what it kind of feels like? It kind of feels like making pars on the golf course, on the par threes. And now, on the par fives, you can go let it rip. Here's second and five. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And brings up third down. set to pass and this is another incompletion Devontae Adams the intended target and that leaves them with fourth and five Thomas Morstead heading back out for the punt and this is the second time he's been brought on to kick it And this looks like it got just inside the 20 as it flew out, and indeed it did. They're putting the ball at the 19-yard line. The Seahawks offense running out now. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. First play of the drive. Here's Walker. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. They come through with a nice game there. Gain of 10, first down. Hey, these are the type of games he's counted on to get when they're available. Unfortunately, he had tremendous vision to see the scene and get through it before that window could close. They have themselves another first and 10. short but still a nine yard pickup that's gonna bring up second and one
punches. Now an inside give to Walker. And he'll get it up to the 44. Five yards on that play and enough for a new set of downs. On the 44-yard line now, first and ten. Here's Smith. It's Cup Metcalf. And he's going to be drugged down, looks like, at that 37-yard line. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. And the Seahawks will have a first down. Reset ball at the 37. Smith on first down. Flushed out of the pocket. This time they're going to get there and they drop it. And a big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. You know, when we watch the combine each and every single year, I hope you get good enough to understand as a football fan, watch the big guy's first 10 yards. Don't watch the ends and the linemen run 40. Watch their first 10 because that's the most critical. And that defensive end showed you right there the kind of explosive burst in the first few yards to get home for the big sack. All right, here we go. Second down. Trying again, following the sack. Nearly intercepted. Oh, he almost had it. Couldn't bring it in. Incomplete. That brings up third down. Well, that's like a good peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Takes both to make it work. And defensively, you've got to have that pressure up front. That's peanut butter. And then you'd like to have some jelly. That was almost a huge play with an interception. Third long from here. He's on the move. He'll make a big for it on the ground. It's out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. Now that's a situation may have worked out better if he'd thrown the ball. His running ability gets him a chunk of yards, but still some work to do to get that first down. Jason Myers out there now to try to field goal for the Seahawks on fourth down. We'll try to connect on a 50-yarder. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. The wind was at a sails, Kate, and it certainly helped that football fly true and right down the middle. And from that distance, to hit with that accuracy is one impressive shot. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. Gibson now to return. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. The Jets and Brees Hall about set to go on offense. They didn't add to their lead last time out. So they punched it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. First and ten now from the 30. They start the drive with Hall. And they'll surrender just a lone yard. That brings up second down. Rodgers to throw. That one's cut on the left side line. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43.
takes it straight ahead. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, half the hay is in the barn when you get five on first down. And now they're in such a good spot where you can attack those other five yards in any way you want. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Here's Hall once more. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. New set of downs for him from the 46. Here's Rogers on first and 10. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Now here's Rogers. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Trying to throw here out of the gun. He just throws this one away. Thomas Morstead on the punt. And they could really use a good one here. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. The Seahawks offense ready to get going once again. And they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one to end their last drive with points. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Now go with Walker on the counter. And he's into the front for a game of about two. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. On the carry, it's Walker. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. One yard on the run, so just three yards across those last two carries. It's third and seven. Out of the gun, here's Smith. Getting out to his left. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't. pretty clear, isn't it? It's this constant pressure that this defense has imposed on this offense to keep them out of rhythm and build up this lead. This offense is not going to offer a comeback if this quarterback continues to run for his life. Seahawks bring it out the punt team. Xavier Gibson on to return for the Jets. Got 46 on his first punch, and this one's pushing a little more distance. Collects this at the 32. And he's brought down before the return gets far. The Jets returning their offense and this running back to the field. It's a 61-yard punt that time. And they're going to take over possession. Nice field position for the Jets as they come up first and ten. Start this one out with Hall. And they sent it straight ahead, but the front stops him after a gain of three. Oh. 
So it's the two-minute warning here from MetLife. The Jets with a chance to add to their lead. Second down now, seven to go. From the 42. Malachi Corley reels it in. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Rodgers will look to throw. Able to find Corley. And he's going to be drawn down, looks like, at that 37-yard line. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. Markers reset, ball at the 37. First down, Rodgers. Has him on the quick hitter. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Throwing once again, Rodgers. Catches me down the right sideline. He's played with just the 12-yard line before the stop was made. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. The Jets take their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. They'll throw again. Rodgers. Catch is made in close. A nice pick up of 11 there, Brock. And they'll have first and goal to figure out. Kind of get the feeling this isn't the whole show, though, right? <laughs> In his eyes, this is just the opening act. There's going to be a lot more to come when the curtain raises for the second half. Carlson, attack on the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Jets drive their lead to 11. All set now for the kickoff. Here comes Williams on the return. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Seahawks are going to take over late in the half. And down a couple of scores, Brock. They probably try to get this into field goal range to trim that lead before halftime. Set first and ten. From the gun, Smith. He had a throw, but a great defensive play. Jordan Lewis incomplete. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. And now they face second down. Risks 
here, keeping this one on the ground. We'll drive it forward, but won't get beyond the line. Will McDonald there on the tackle. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. Shotgun snap to Smith. That one's complete over the middle. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. The Seahawks calling for a timeout. So they're first to three. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. First down, ball at the 36. Smith back to throw. And it's a complete to Kenneth Walker. And they'll manage to contain him after about a six-yard pickup. DJ Reed brings him down that time. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Smith. He finds fans. And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. And again, it's Smith. And that's going to fall incomplete. We're down to nine seconds left. in the sports and the reaction it's the same every time Brock. frustration from the coach as they get back up five yards looking to throw and that pushes him back third down coming up that brings us to the break the jets with a halftime lead here in east rutherford now we'll send you down the east coast to our studios in orlando Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a solid first half out of the running back, Brees Hall. He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break. Kids, we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. now to return. And look at this return. I'll bring him down on the return as he gets this to the 33. The Jets and this running back headed back out for a new series. And unsurprisingly, Brock, a great day on the scoreboard so far for him. Has it with the advantage as we move through this third quarter. Ball at the 33 for first down. A give left side for Hall. And he's brought down for a loss. It's sure nice to see for this defense when a run heads out there to this corner's domain, to the outside. Well, he's able to finish the playoff. And the best part, well, a sure tackle from a corner. No chance he was slipping out of that one. 
Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. From the shotgun, Rogers. He's got the hook up to Adams. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Third and four coming up now. Working out of the gun, it's Rogers. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Rogers here from the gun. Hits him on the in route. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Throwing again, it's Rogers. tackle at the 38. They get an even 10 on that play. And it's good enough for a New York first down. New set of downs for him at the 38. From the gun, it's Hall. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. From the 34. Defender runs right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. pass unsuccessful and they have third down here Roger set to pass that's caught for the first and they have this well into the red zone now at the 15 it's a gain of 19 on the play and it'll give the Jets a first down Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Again, Rogers escapes the pocket. And he's tackled for no gain. You know, sometimes, Kate, that pocket could be a lonely place. You're searching and searching for an escape valve, and there's none to be had. That time, nowhere to go, and he was lucky to get back to the line before the defense swarmed him. Third and a lone yard coming up. Now here's Rogers. Rolling left, buying some time. And they take this in for the score. The Jets grow the lead coming out of halftime. Aaron Rodgers with the touchdown. Well, this machine has been firing on all cylinders this game, partner. And it continues firing as that lead grows yet again. And those who've tried to get in the way of that machine you're talking about, namely the defense, well, they've paid the price over and over and over again. Carlson now to add one more. Right down the middle. It's good. And the Jets push their lead to 18.
Carlson, all set now for the kickoff. Here comes Williams on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Seahawks back on offense, led out by Geno Smith. And as we can see here, it hasn't been the easiest game for him to operate out there, right? Number of rough moments for him. This defense able to pick him off twice to highlight their performance against him. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Smith. He's on the move. Oh, look at this, here he goes. And he evades any kind of trouble, but only a short game to show for it after sliding down. Here. We give up the gut to Walker, and he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Six yards on the play, and enough for a first. That's the type of call that offensively, man, it just builds so much confidence. I don't even think they were looking to get the first down. Just get to a manageable third down. But instead, they move the chains, and that is one disheartening look on that defense. Going to the ground again on first. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. Play fake. Now Smith to throw. That one's incomplete. Had the connection, but some stone hands got in the way there. That's a very quick trigger, and the hurry throw was much tougher to complete. He may have rushed that one, thinking the pressure was just about to get to him in the pocket. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Throwing is Smith. Coaching you football, everybody wants their kid to play quarterback. That is, until they get knocked to the mat. And that's now five sacks in this game, let alone the number of times the quarterback's been flushed as well. Not everybody is built to play quarterback. And punter making his way out now. Michael Dixon will kick it away. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is it far. And little to nothing on that return as the coverage team gets to him. This offense headed out as we get a look at their running back. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. is home. That one goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. First down throw by Rogers. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. Couldn't 
connect on first. It's second down. Shotgun snap, a gift to Hall. Takes that one stop. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. They gain 14 on the play. And it's good enough for a New York first down. Hey, even though that was an excellent run, I gotta talk about the receivers here, Kate, because nine times out of ten, you see a run like that in this league, 10 plus, you know those guys on the outside are doing their job, shining as blockers, keeping those defenders away from the back. It is caught left side. And he's always ended worse, but he gets a yard out of this. Julian Love bringing that one to an end. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Now Rodgers. Makes the grab and bounds left side. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They got 24 yards on the play. And it'll give the Jets a first down. Working inside the red zone. This one's caught. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. Second and three now. Throwing once again, Rodgers. with the first down yardage. They'll throw again, Rogers. Looking touchdown, but can't connect. Well, you've got to have a short memory in the NFL. Incompletions happen. Now you've got to make the adjustment and go get the next one. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. Hall. And he runs it across. Touchdown. The Jets can make it a four-score game as they lead by 24. Brees Hall. Touchdown! His third of the game on the ground. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. In baseball, it's three strikes and you're out. I know you experienced that a lot, but on the gridiron, you're feeling pretty happy, right? If you can strike the end zone three times in one game. Yeah, I'd rather go hockey and soccer. That's just a positive guy <laughs> in me. They call that a hat trick. It's worth celebrating. You. And yeah, they should celebrate this effort. Carlson, attack on the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Jets grow their lead yet again. In, all set now for the kickoff. Here comes Williams on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Seahawk offense taking the field now. And the open lanes, the beautiful windows that he no doubt dreamt about before this game, Brock. Well, they just haven't been there. It's almost like the defense challenged itself between the pass rush and the secondary. Who could make more big plays here? Yeah, you're talking about the difference between the practice field and the reality of this game, sacks, yeah. interceptions. And while we won't be the final judge on which area this defense has been the biggest winner, we do know who the loser's been, the quarterback, mm -hmm. who's had to deal with an excellent defensive showing. 
Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. They go play action. Here's Smith. Cut by Lockett. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 37, he finds Fant. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. And it sets up Seattle with first down. To the ground with Walker. Gets it ahead, has about five yards. Quincy Williams making the tackle. Give him five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. Hey, you get that ball in your belly, baby. You got almost no time to process what the line's gonna do. You better make your decision and get it downhill. Excellent vision to find the opening and get things started well here on first down. From the 44 here on second down. That's a catch, Jackson Smith in Jigba. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47-yard line. It's a pickup of nine yards. And the Seahawks will have a first down. Thankfully, only one quarter to play now. We've reached the end of three in this lopsided affair. The Seahawks have possession, and this final quarter begins with them in a massive hole. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. From the gun, Smith. Pass complete to Walker. You know, you compare and contrast stats over the decades, Kate. One thing you see is the completion percentages are through the roof. In this day and age, compared to the 60s and the 70s, a big reason is just completions like that. Utilizing every one of your eligible receivers that time, running back in the flat. Second and eight. Walker hauls it in. And he'll go out of bounds close to the 35-yard line. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, Kate, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. And again, it's Smith. Complete beyond the marker. And they haul him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. Offense set for a first and ten. Hand off to Walker from the gun. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. Options are open here. It's second and inches. Smith and Jigba going to motion over left. Shotgun snap to Smith. The Jets get there and bring him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. And right there is the danger, Kate, when you put the ball in the air. How many times do we see these coordinators when you get a nice run, right? You gain some steam on the ground, you stick with the ground game. They don't, they call the pass, and the defense reacts and reacts well with the sack. Play fake. He's in trouble and gets brought down again. And 
consecutive sacks have them staring at a tough fourth down. Flat out a tremendous call. Perfect timing to blitz the corner, and the result proves it. There was barely time for the QB to set himself up to throw, let alone look downfield for a target before he was absolutely decked by somebody who I think enjoyed that chance to rush the passer. Fourth and forever coming up. Here's Smith. He finds him beyond the marker. Touchdown, Seattle! Well, Brock, this one has not been good to them so far, but they are still fighting and able to get in there for six. Just a drive that was all about scratching and clawing. As much as anything, Kate, it was just a pride drive to go and get your job done. Myers to add the PAT. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Seahawks make it an 18-point game. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. On the return, here comes Davis. He stopped on the return at the 27. His offense running out for a new series, led by their running back. And they have leaned on him to get this offense to the end zone in the game, and he's delivered. He's hit Peter three times, part of a really nice game for him so far, Brock. Been returning good value on the looks that he's been getting. drive will start out with a first and ten. Hall running between the tackles. And he's only able to power this forward for about three yards. Second down now, seven to go. again he doesn't manage much before getting brought down they got two yards there and that leaves him with third down and five Rogers here from the gun he has the first over the middle and he'll get it up to the 44 12 yards on that play, and a good call nets him the first. Play good for 17 and a first down. It's pretty obvious this defense. I mean, they need more people around the line of scrimmage. But the minute you do that, Kate, you start opening up those throwing lanes. This is how balance takes apart a defense. First down, and they go right back to it. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. He made it six on the play, bringing up second and four.
short side option here. He's running left. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. We didn't try fighting for more and risking a fumble in that situation. Just make sure you get what you need and then go protect yourself. That's exactly what the QB did. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. Here's a give to Hall. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. Second and six coming up here. Hand off, running left. Here's Hall. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. From the red zone now. Bails out of the pocket quick. He keeps it and takes off. He gets a little something out of it before sliding into a stop. Just not much to do right there, whether he wanted to run it or throw it. Even if he scraped a positive gain out of it, that's still a win for this defense. Second down now, seven to go. From the shotgun, Rogers. Hopkins isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. For how well they were moving the ball on this possession, surprising. Surprising to see them get caught up now. And even more surprising, Kate, to see them knock so far backwards with a sack. At this point, well, you got to get back on schedule. Maybe even a manageable fourth down if you don't get the first. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. Rodgers will look to throw. And he's off the mark there. Too far behind him to adjust. That brings up fourth down. Anders Carlson on now for the field goal try. This a 39-yarder. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that stretches the lead to 21. Get another shot across the bow of a ship that's already sick in here, Kate. He could have made that field goal. Heck, he could have turned around and kicked it directly at his coach because it feels like they've got this one in hand. All set now for the kickoff. Here comes Williams on the return. This return makes it up to the 25. Now this offense ready to head back out. And after watching their passing attack, taking the length of the field last drive, Brock, I expect we're probably going to see a heavy dose of the aerial attack again here. They're out and set, first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Smith. That one's cut along the left sideline. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a pickup of 26, and it sets up Seattle with first down. Offense in the hurry up here. Smith on first down. And he has it along the sideline, but he got a little too close to that edge. They're going to say he's out of bounds. We've got second down. Well, that's a nice job by the defense, Kate, to actually use the 12th defender, and that is the sideline. That throw didn't give the receiver enough real estate 
to establish possession and the defense understanding how to use the boundary. Second and ten. Again, it's Smith. It's Cup Metcalf. And they make the tackle at the 38. It's a pickup of 11. And the Seahawks will have a first down. The dose of the hurry up offense here. First down, Smith to throw. Completed over the middle. And they take him down right along the 30. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Here's second and two. Escapes out to the left. And he wisely avoids contact, sliding down there, and that played good enough for a first. That one ends up a gain of six, and it sets up Seattle with first down. Smith to the air now. Connects with Fant. And he gets this down inside the red zone before going out. Second and three now. Smith setting the throw. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Intended target there was Jackson Smith and Jigba. And now they'll face a third and three. to throw Smith and this is caught it's a Seattle touchdown the Seahawks get it back to within two possessions Jackson Smith and Jigbo with the touchdown his second scoring catch of the game Exactly the play they were looking for, Brock. They saw it, and he put it right on the money. Yeah, it really was a perfect play. This is what it looked like in practice, but more importantly now, to get it done in game time, that's what you're looking for. Amazing when it all comes together. Myers to add the PAT. Right down the middle. It's good. And the Seahawks get it back to a 14-point game. With time ticking away, they prepare for a must-get onside kick. And the Jets are able to recover the kick. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. Hey, the numbers don't lie. The numbers tell you, Kate, time and again, it is so hard to recover these onside kicks. And when you got an opponent prepared for it, well, that makes it even more difficult. The home teams and Aaron Rodgers headed back out on offense. On the 44 yard line now, first and 10. Takes it straight ahead. And he's tackled with markers down. This one should be on the defense. Easy call for the officials there. He was off signs at the snap, and that's going to cost him. The defense calls a timeout. So that's their first. And they'll take this opportunity to discuss what's next over on their sideline.
Well, a great way for the offense to start the drive, Bronk. A free five yards, and now a much shorter first down. They run. Here's Hall. And they bring him down around the 34. Now Seattle going to call it second timeout. And they'll have just one left to burn now. Here's first and ten from the 34. Here's Hall once more. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Now the Seahawks are going to spend their third and final timeout. And they are quite frustrated having to call that after giving up the first. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. He goes to a knee as Tom winds down in this one. This is situational football at its best. There's still some time left to bleed off the clock. But the really important thing here is you've got to bleed every second of that clock that you can. Second down. Probably going to see him kneel it again here. Give on second to Hall. And he gets this forward to the 19. Give him five on that play. Now it's going to be third down and six. Setting up for the kneel down on third. They drop to a knee, and what little time we have left here is going to take down. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. So the win goes to the Jets. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win. So for Brock Heward and all of our crew, I'm Kate Scott wrapping up another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a well-earned win for the Jets as we say so long from New York.